We've heard from countless people in Michigan who have had trouble getting in contact with the unemployment insurance agency. Now lawmakers want unemployment offices to open back up. Fox 47's Kylie Khan asked the director when that could happen. Thousands of people are waiting to find out when they'll be able to talk to someone face to face. The unemployment agency did not give a date when offices will reopen. They're just saying they're working on it. We want to make sure that um, it's a, a safe uh, place for employers, excuse me, for, for the claimants that come in um, and um, for our staff as well. Why can't they open these up these doors if they are wearing a mask and six foot different, or you know, six foot between you and the other person, you're not harming anybody. Let's start taking care of the people. Several lawmakers are pushing the UIA to open offices soon, saying it will provide some hope. When you talk about safety, I, I understand and appreciate that. But when we heard on the Zoom call that that woman was facing an individual who was threatening suicide, that's not the first case we've heard. There are safety concerns in a wide variety of these issues. I really do feel like we need more local offices. I mean, the, at, the, at the end of the day, uh, we can open local offices, but uh, it's not that helpful if we have 10-hour waits like they had in Kentucky. During a hearing Wednesday morning, legislators also pushed for an update on those accounts flagged for potential fraud. Director Gray says the agency has a team of 850 people dedicated to those cases. He says that's also impacting response time for other people. We had brought on all these staff, had them poised to get on the phones um, to help, uh, help customers, and we had to divert them. Um, you know, to this identity verification process. The unemployment agency did not know how many of those 340,000 cases were actually fraud, only saying that 58,000 people reported cases of fraud on their accounts. And that was Kylie Khan reporting. The agency's director also said flaws in the system make it difficult to get accurate and timely data. Some lawmakers say the UIA is not communicating enough with them, the media, and the people they're serving.